how do you effectively deal with drama in your team? Um, I don't think there is, I mean, I'm not sure if it's an effective or the right or wrong way, but uh, the, I can share with you what Mash and I have been doing for the past uh, 10 plus years. Um, first of all, drama in the team, uh, that's what I understand by drama, right? Somebody coming to you and complain about the cross line, the down line, the up line, uh, complain about their life or having some challenges and, you know, gossiping, uh, all these things that uh, sometimes, and not sometimes, I would say all the time, are the things that we use as an excuse to you know, divert ourselves to not to be as effective and not to be focused and as a distraction to, you know, use that as a, as a distraction from actually doing the main thing. So, first of all, the way we deal and we have dealt with uh, drama in the past and, and, and today is, first of all, you need to allow room for a little bit of drama. And I mean, when I mean a little bit of drama means that, you know, in like in every single movie that you watch, there is always just that, uh, that point where there is a little bit of drama and then everything else happens afterwards, right? All the breakthroughs and everything. So I think in life you need to allow yourself and allow someone else to actually um, kind of... Um, vent right or, or or download all that thing that is you know keeping the keeping that they're keeping inside so i think first of all the most important thing obviously when you allow that you need to give a time frame let's say i don't know that uh, you give them a minute or two to to dump everything they want and after that minute they need to understand that that's it that there's no more drama that the reason they're talking to you if you want to move them forward right uh, you need to have a like a, an honest conversation and they need to understand that the reason they are talking to you is because they want to move further. They want to move forward in their life, in their business. So once you get them to agree to that, then you allow them uh, for a minute or two or 30 seconds. That's up to you as <laughs> much as you can handle, I guess. Uh, you can allow them to tell you exactly what is wrong, you know, quote unquote wrong in their life. After that, you have agreed with them that you're going to move forward. And how you move forward is you refocus them on their goals and their uh, aspirations, what they want to do in their life, what they want to achieve in their, in their, in their business. And then after that, you, as you refocus them on that and you, you actually you know, make them think and, and understand the benefits of actually doing that instead of focusing on that drama, then once you have got them in that situation, then the next thing is, again, to keep them accountable in a time frame again. You know, super important always, you need to keep people on time frames. You know, I think sometimes we waste a lot of time, you know, doing this thing and doing that thing and thinking about this and thinking about that. Whereas before you actually do every single activity or any activity that you do, you give it a time frame and you would be surprised and amazed on how this thing between our ears works. Because if you give it a minute, that's how this mind that you have will work towards to get something in that time frame. If you give a minute to someone to, to vent, that's what the mindset will be. And in a minute, they will be done. And if you give them 50 minutes, 50 minutes, they will, be, they will find something to do. So first of all, to deal with drama in your team, first of all, I allow drama for like a very, you know, um, kind of uh, amount of time, like a very short period of time. And then after that, I agree with that person that we're going to move forward and we're going to focus again on the goals and the good stuff, the things that are going to be so positive that are going to inspire them to move forward. And once you've done that, we're going to make them and keep them accountable for a certain amount of time so then they don't fall into drama within that period of time, if it makes any sense. So uh, keep them focused. 
refocus them on the actual income producing activities into the inspiration more than the desperation and the and the bad stuff and the drama allow it for a certain amount of time and then after that focus them on the energy and the positiveness of everything that they do and then move them forward mm -hmm.